Oh yeah. See, just stop what you're doing. Girl, what you're doing just ain't right. Alright, um, my name is Preston. Preston. respect so uh i understand you got military experience military experience yeah i was in the marines for about four years so what was that like what was it? it was it, it was one of them experiences where um i think it was a good experience overall that's where i did a lot of growing up i would think um met a lot of good friends met a lot of bad friends too you know what i mean um but it was one of them experiences that made you kind of appreciate life. You know, we're in the first Gulf War. So that's kind of a wake-up call also, you know what I mean? And um, I think my tour wasn't a bad one. All right, um, no, hold it. Make sure you hold it tomorrow. Wait until you're waiting on the list. Um, now, you're, 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 you're performing in front of military members and everything, and this might be the only, the only entertainment they see because, you know, a lot of people are going to deploy back, I'm sure you you see the news and everything. Yeah. And uh, I mean, how does that feel being just some entertainment they might see for for a year? They won't see no more entertainment for a year. Well, this is probably this is not the sec this is probably the second time I've done something for like USO or something like that. So I know that feeling. I mean, um, it's it, it, it is. I feel good to know that I'm, you know, I, I'm I'm able to do that. You know, what I mean, to go out and entertain. You know, because these guys are going to be gone for a while. You know what I mean? Some of them are just coming back. It depends. So, um, being there, I remember I was in uh, North Carolina. Where was this? Um, Camp Lejeune. I think it was Will Smith that came in there a long time ago. We, at that time, it was Jazzy Jeff. And that, that was exciting. Just to know that he was performing on bass and everything was, you know what I mean? Just the whole energy of it was, was, was um, really exciting. So. It's exciting on my part, you know, what I mean, because I don't know what to expect. <laughs> I mean, you know, but uh, I know it's going to be a, a rocking crowd. I know they're going to probably have some good. We're going to have some fun. All right. And um, what, would you say something special to the troops downrange? I mean, because you know people are losing their lives. I mean, I know I'm in the military, and I don't want to go. You know what yeah. I mean? But I mean, just any words like a morale issue, like to affect their morale or anything. All I could say. For, the, for all the troops fighting down there is they got some better looking women in America so y'all better get y'all asses back <laughs> I don't think you need more morale than that dog <laughs> that was my morale hell <laughs> Ooh, I had imaginations boy yeah <laughs> and it's all true <laughs> so yo come back yeah um and while you were in the military you were recording were you working on Oak Carolina is that what I read yeah um, I used to go back and forth from North Carolina to New York, and um, I, uh, it was like, what was it, 18-hour drive all together back and forth, yeah. just to make records, you know what I mean? And um, I, you know, I, I did that the whole time. Matter of fact, when I, I, I did a song called Big Up while I was in the military, actually it was in my uniform when I did that, that track in New York, and it was on my first album. And then I, I think it was, I would say, I'd say about four or five months after I was discharged from, from Marines, I did Oak Carolina, and then it was like a huge number one. So got a huge recording deal then, and that was the start of it all. I mean, do you think, would you say that, let me make sure this is just, uh, uh, being in the military, dealing with that for four years and everything, and then, you, you catapulted in success, you know, coming into money and everything like that. Would you say that humbled you at all? Or? Did, did the military humble me? Yeah, just going through that. Like, yeah, I think the military, like I said, I did a lot of growing up in the military. That's that's what basically kept me kept me grounded, you know what I mean? Um, there's not a lot of <laughs> ego boosting when, you know, you, you're walking on in line picking up cigarette butts in the military, you know what I mean? So all of that. It it, it, it it does humble you, you know what I mean? And and I was a lot more, that's how I did my job, you know what I mean? Because it's, I've been in the military for four years, I'll tell you the hardest job I've ever done is music business, believe it or not. It's really rough. 
I mean, just to beat places on time. You know, I mean, I go to all these exotic countries and I never see anything but an airport, a TV station, radio station, concert hall, hotel. That's it. You know, I don't, I, I don't get time to see sightseeing because it's just, it's, just, it's just that fast pace. You know what I mean, and 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 to do all of that in time. You know, what I mean, and be on time all the time is 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 because of me being in the military and just being um, very disciplined. The discipline that that I acquired being in the Marines. That, that's what I pretty much. Uh, you, you can see that transcending all over my whole career. All right. Is it um? Is it still fun? I mean, is it? Cause you know, maybe when you're in the booth starting, you you know, if you're an aspiring artist, but now yeah. you're an established artist, is it still? Do you do any? Is, same motivation there? There's aspects of it that's fun. And the motive, the fire is still there, but your negative critics are your, are your fire, the fuel to my fire. You know what I mean? Just people who think that you can't do it again. I mean, I was dropped from one label at Virgin Records and then, you know, I had to really jumpstart my career and do it all over again. And, I, and I've gotten bigger and bigger every time. So, you know, it's silencing your critic that, that that's the fuel to my fire. And so it, it is still fun, you know what I mean? But some part of it gets a little old, you know what I mean? And, um, and the money gets better. You know I mean, I'm making money now that I would never in a million years thought that I would have made. Are you, is there time to enjoy it though? I mean, are you tired to them? Is it like, is touring like a, a season? Yo! Thank you very much, sir. Fucking guy. <laughs> Is mm -hmm. touring a season like do you is it like a season where you're touring and you're off and then you can just chill? Or is it constant, constant work twenty four seven? I mean Um, yeah, there's time to chill as far as not touring. It doesn't mean that there's not working. You know what I mean? I'm doing production, I'm doing promotion, I'm doing I might not be touring as far as concert touring. Like right now I'm doing an album, so I'm not doing like full fledged tours. I'm doing like spot dates. You know, in, in the mean in the meantime, because I gotta finish this album, and I got record companies, I got a new record company which is Interscope, and I got people on my case. You know, trying to get this album done, so that becomes a, a challenge. But there's uh, always work. You're always working. Um, but what are some of the things that fans expect from your next album in terms of work? Oh, it's it's gonna be a typical Shaggy album. I think this one will be a lot a lot. So far, it seems like it's a lot of women songs. You know, a lot of a lot of relationship songs. A lot of God, I love women songs. You know, what I mean, the, that kind of songs. And uh, very tongue in cheek. Uh, a lot more reggae, because now reggae is coming to popularity. So I could go back into my roots a little bit more, and not have a fear of it not being played on radio. You know, like how I used to. So. And I'm excited about it, you know what I mean? So, yeah, it, it'll be entertaining. And I'm not one that sit there and do albums with all this big message or anything like that. You know, my, my thing is just to have a good time. And if I could uplift your spirit in my music, I'll do that. And I've heard some, you know, and I'm knowing this is not true now, but, um, cause I know you've done stuff with AFM before. Yeah. And, you know, it was, it was rumored that your accent and everything was just fake. It was fake. Yeah, I, and that, that's how <laughs> not true. I, I, yeah. I'm, no, I'm, I'm born and raised in Jamaica. You know what I mean? But it doesn't make sense to me if I'm doing an interview and I'm talking to you in raw Jamaican, then you're not going to understand a word I'm saying. But if you sit down here with me and my Jamaican friends yeah. in two minutes, you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? You'll be like, oh, okay, that's how he kicks it. You know what I mean? Now I'm born and raised. I still live there. I have a home there still. And that's what it is. You know? But uh, and I think there's a lot of people who come from Jamaica who make records. I think they try to put it on a little bit more. They'd be like, yeah, try to do the whole, because Bob Marley did it, you know what I mean? Bob Marley used to be the type of person who he speaks very patois as he goes along with very, a very strong Jamaican accent. A lot of these cats, they put that strong Jamaican accent on because it makes them feel a little bit more authentic. I don't need that to make me feel authentic. This is what I am, you know what I mean? I, I came to the United States at the age of 18. You know what I mean, and I've been back and forth. Do I have a, a, a New York accent? Yeah, I've lived in New York for years. <laughs> you know what I mean? Can I flip back into my Jamaican accent? Yes, I can. All right, and uh, last question. What's the most uh, memorable thing from your career? Memorable thing of, um, 
God, I got a lot of good memories, you know what I mean? Where music is concerned. But I would think most memorable thing for me would be probably going diamond. Just certifying on Hot Shot. That whole Hot Shot experience is, is, is great. I mean, that's 10 million records. I've sold more records than Bob Marley. Isn't that wild? Yeah. That's crazy. You know what I mean? So, and he's he's the legend. He's the undisputed king. That to me is wild. That that to me is wild because I, I grew up emulating a Bob Marley, just looking at this man as the greatest thing ever lived. And to, to sell more records than him is like, wow. You know what I mean? And he's still the undisputed king, <laughs> no matter how you look at it. You know what I mean? But yeah, that 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 whole hot shot experience was was wild for me. Yeah. All right. Is there anything else you want to add? I mean, no, I'm just saying. Um, I'm just happy for the opportunity to come here, to come and do this concert tonight, and just say, hey. I'm really, really curious to see to see what it's about. You know, what yeah, I mean? just a to free get the concert, vibe. Yeah, a just free see the vibe. Not, you know, I wouldn't expect a, di a diamond artist giving a free concert. Hey, well, I'm with it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm with it. It's cool. It's cool. Why not? All right. All right, man. That's good, man. Thanks yeah, yeah. a lot, man. Cool. Appreciate it. Looking forward to the concert. All right. Is there gonna be women out this place? Though? There should be. There should be. <laughs> All right, man. Huh? Or normally when they have concerts, it's just like pure dudes. Right behind the uh, front seat. Uh, yeah, first, 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 first,